Hello, Mr. Richards here, and today's pre-algebra lesson is on direct variation. Our objectives are to identify direct variation and to use direct variation to solve problems. Now, let's start off with a couple vocabulary words here, such as, well, what is a direct variation? Well, a direct variation is a special type of linear relationship that describes rate of change. A relationship such that as x increases in value, y increases or decreases at a constant rate. The constant of variation is the slope or rate of change in the equation y equals m x represented by that letter m. Now sometimes the constant of variation is also called the constant of, and this is a very fun word, proportionality. P-R-O-P-O-R-T-I-O-N-A-L-I-T-Y. So if we pull this together, we have the constant of variation and direct variation, and if we look at our key concept box where it says a direct variation is a relationship in which the ratio of y to x is constant, m. So we have a constant slope. We say y varies directly with x. You can see the equation y equals mx. In the example, y equals 2x. And that 2 is our constant of variation or our constant of proportionality, as that is our slope. So it relates directly to our uh, constant rate of changes and slope. But just a little bit more detail as we go through this lesson. Our first example deals with identifying direct variations. Determine if the relationship between the distances in miles and the time in minutes is a direct variation. Let's look at our ordered pairs here. We have 15, 6, we have 30, 9, and we have 45, 12. Now what we want to do here is look for our relationship between y over x. Well, our y is our distance and our x is our minutes. So if I look at these, in my first one I have 6 over 15, my next one is 9 over 30, and then I have 12 over 45. Let's see what these simplify into. 6 over 15 simplifies into 2 fifths as we divide 3 on top and bottom. 9 thirtieths if we divide 3 on top and bottom is 3 tenths. And if we divide 3 on top and bottom of 12 40 fifths, we get 4 fifteenths. Now, these ratios are all different. A direct variation 
means that we have a constant ratio. And since we do not have a constant ratio, our answer here is no. The ratio distance over minutes is different for every pair of values. Now, if each one of these was two-fifths, you had two-fifths, 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 then we would have a direct variation. But since these ratios are different, we do not have a direct variation. In example two, we're going to determine and interpret a constant of variation. The equation y equals 45x represents the distance y in miles a driver can travel in x hours. Determine if there is a constant of variation. If so, explain what it represents in the situation. Well, y equals mx, where m is our constant of variation is the equation we use for direct variations. Now, we have y equals 45x. Well, it sure looks to me like we do have a constant of variation here, and that's going to be the 45. 45 is the constant of variation in this particular equation. Now, what does this mean? The 45 means that the driver can drive 45 miles per hour. In our third example, we're using direct variation to solve problems. The depth of a hole varies directly with the time spent digging the hole. It takes 10 minutes to dig a hole that is 8 inches deep. Write and solve an equation to find the depth of the hole after digging for 45 minutes. We're going to start this question by using our direct variation equation, which is y equals mx. One thing that is important to know here is that y varies directly with x. So when you're given a word problem such as the depth of the hole varies directly with the time spent, we can use the idea that y varies directly with x to help us identify the variables. So the depth of the hole varies directly with the time spent, so we're going to say depth varies directly with time. So when we go to say, okay, y equals mx. We want to solve for m. So we have our 10 minutes and we have our 8 inches. Now the 10 minutes represents the time which is our x in our statement and the 8 inches represents our depth which is our y in the statement. So we can say okay 8 for y equals m times 10. Now, to finish solving for m, if we divide by 10 on both sides of our equation here, we end up with 8 tenths equals m, or just as a decimal, well, 8 tenths equals m. So I can take that with my y equals mx now, and say the variation equation, the direct variation equation for this particular problem is going to be y equals 8 tenths times x. Now we're being asked to solve to find the depth of the hole after digging for 45 minutes. Well remember 45 minutes is our time and our time is our x. 
So we're going to put 45 in 4x. So y is going to equal the 8 tenths, which was our constant of variation, times the 45 minutes. And 8 tenths times 45 minutes is 36. So our answer here is 36 feet is your depth after digging for 45 minutes. So when given a word problem, we need to solve for the constant of variation. Identify your variables, what's y, what's x. Find that constant of variation. Write your direct variation equation and substitute in as you need to. In our last example, we need to compare direct variations using an equation and a graph. The equation y equals 3 and 5 tenths x represents the relationship between the total cost y of ringtones and the number of ringtones x purchased from phone mix. The graph shows the cost from ringtones plus. Which website charges more for ringtones and explain? So what we need to do is to compare our direct variations. In our equation we have y equals 3.5x and that's for phone mix which is telling us that it's cost $3.50 per ringtone. Now, for ringtones plus, we need to do a little bit more work. We actually need to calculate these. And so we have one, three. Well, that change in y, change in x is just $3 per. Or even if we did the six over two, that would still be $3 per. 9 over 3 is still $3 per, and that again was for our ringtones plus. So when I go to compare these direct variations, phone mix charges $3.50 per ringtone, ringtones plus charges $3 per ringtone. So which website charges more for ringtones and explain? I would say that phone mix the unit rate is $3.50, which is greater than $3. And that is it for this lesson on direct variation. Good luck.